Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this little parcel has come to me from the lovely people at diamondartgift.com. Um, I've had a few packages from them in the past and they asked if I would like to have some uh, more products to show us. Yes, of course. I've loved the products I've had in the past. So let's see what we got this time. So we have a little ooh, project. Oh, that one looks interesting. We have a diamond painting, that looks interesting as well. And then we have, ooh, something a little bit special. Okay, so there are quite a few special offers on at diamondartgift.com at the moment. If you pop to the uh, website, if you put four items in your, your basket, you will only pay for three. So it's always good to get something free. And there is 70% off shipping. So, yeah, you go and check them out and see what bargains you can get. Okay, thank you for sending me these. And let's have a look and see what we've got. So, this, I believe, is a diamond painting pen. Uh, yeah, it's diamond painting pen, diamond art DIY craft nail art. Ooh, oh, so it's in this nice little tube. I've not had a pen in a tube like this before, and it is quite long. Ooh, look at the colours on that. It's like got blue and grey, and up to pink, and all sparkle in the middle. I like this. And it's very slim line as well, nice to hold. Ooh, so does it twist up? What do we do with this one? Because we've got an end there, so I wonder if do we, can you put uh, your drill? Can you put your tips in there, or are they? Oh, I remember right. So I got this. You know me; I love special drills. So this is like a special drill pen. Uh, I wonder if a tip would go in there. It might be worth trying, but that's not why I've bought it. Uh, this is like a waxy pen pencil to pick up your special drills so yeah and it's sort of slightly tacky not as tacky uh, as your wax that you get with your painting kit but isn't that super oh that is really flashy you know if you go to your craft groups and you get one of these out you look very sophisticated <laughs> well i can try what can i say <laughs> Actually, I think that is the whole, um, you know, like you're getting like um, biro pens so that if somebody swallows it, you can still breathe through. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's what that is for. But, yeah, that is just so elegant. And uh, I love the blue grey. It's like an ombre effect from grey going all the way then up to pink on both sides. And this little flash of silver just in the middle. Just like a more dull colour just to offset this sparkle. I think that's really pretty. And it opens and closes really nicely as well. Oh, I like that. We'll give it a go with some uh, special drills in a moment. See how well it picks up. So let's have a look and see what size this pen is. So it's come in a nice container as well. Got all sorts of things I'm thinking about doing with that now. <laughs> So it's just about, just under seven inches, just over 17 centimetres. And then the actual bit that you drill with, because this is important to me, because I use a magnifying light and I tend to find if I get a pen that's too long, when uh, I go to lift it up as I'm diamond painting, I tend to hit the light. So I don't like anything that's too long. Uh, this is roughly five inches, which is about 13 centimetres. So that's quite a, a nice smaller size for using. And it's very, very light for picking up and using for your drills. So, yeah, uh, that was $2.99. And I've not seen that one like this before. I've seen similar things, but this is a more uh, waxy type feel to it. I know the ones that have like the replaceable ends, they tend to be more of a plasticky feel, but this is more of a waxy feel. So, yeah, we'll uh, have a go at picking up some gems with that in a second. Okay, so let's have a look at this little picture. I think you can sort of see what it is. Oh, look, we've got a little clownfish. Yay! 
Okay, let's have a look and see what this one is. Oh, can't get it out of the packet. Come on, out, everybody out. Let's just give it a bit of a hand here. It wants to, uh, doesn't want to come out of its bag. <laughs> oh, and it's a little one. Oh, it's really sweet. Oh, do you know, for a small picture that's got a lot of detail, it is a special drill and it is a partial. So you don't drill any of the background where there are no numbers, there's no sticky. But actually, there's quite a few drills on this in the coral. And then all the little clownfish that are playing in the coral. And that's hot pink. So I'm hoping we've got a hot pink gem. Okay, just give it a bit of a flatten down. Oh, that's a really sweet little picture. Uh, the price of this one was $3.99 and it's called Ocean. If you remember, I've got a really big special drill turtle in our bathroom and Hubby keeps saying, will you get some more pictures to go with this turtle? And I just thought, yeah, that is just so pretty and it's not going to be real in your face. Uh, and it'll just sort of match in with it. And then I'm going to get a, another similar type theme picture to go with it and just uh, make a sea themed bathroom. Yay! I think that looked quite good. Let's give this one a quick measure. It's nine different gems and colours. And it is 24 centimetres uh, between nine and a half and nine and three quarter inches by. 19 centimetres which is seven and a half inches so yeah it's just a little a little picture just a nice little smaller one to do if you've done a really big picture or if you just fancy getting something done in an evening these are ones that you can probably complete in an hour or so a couple of hours depending how quick you diamond paint or how quick you want to do it uh, but yeah and that's a nice clear drill field we've got a lot of white numbers and letters there all underneath very nice okay we have our standard pen butt and wax toolkit there and then look we're all crystals and specials i think or oh, maybe just the standard black there but you do tend to get that uh, quite a bit it just sometimes you just need that little flat color just to make everything else pop a little bit more right so nine different colors looks like they are all standard crystal size so we have the gorgeous sparkly silver there that is a lovely color then a little bit of a black there your 310 black we've got that gorgeous fishy orange and a nice bright red there and a royal purple with a little escapee of a red one in there a nice aqua blue and hot pink yes we've got a hot pink we had to have a hot pink in here and then a gorgeous emeraldy green there and a little bit of a sort of peachy color peachy goldy color at the end so yeah and they all look lovely and clear and sparkly we like a bit of sparkle right we're gonna I did say we'd have a go with that pen, didn't I? So let me just grab a little toolkit. Okay, and we don't need the wax because we're going to be using our pen. Woo! New pen. Oh, it's this, it's very sophisticated. This I shouldn't be using this really. It's just not me at all, is it? <laughs> let me grab uh, my squeezers. Okay, and we'll just tip a few of these out into this tray i'll have to find myself a little bag as well to put those in otherwise i'll be having them everywhere so i'll just give it a little bit of a shake and oh they've all lined up nicely there look at all that sparkle we do like a bit of sparkle and number one is all over the place look let's just try doing the top of this little bit of coral here so let's see how these pick up. You'll have to excuse me because I don't have my glasses on or my magnifying light yet. Yeah, these are picking up really well. The only reason I'm going so slowly is because I'm trying to see what I'm doing. I'm squinting to make sure I get them on the right place. Oh, this pen works really well. It's just sticky enough. 
what you're doing with all diamond paintings when you're picking up your gems or your drills or your crystals or whatever you're using is you need to pick them up with something that's sticky uh, and it's got enough stick on it to hold on to the gem as you're picking it up but not too sticky so it doesn't let go when you then put it down on the canvas so that then the sticky on the canvas just not quite got that one in the right place takes it off your uh, pen or whatever you're using but that is great I love that. That's worked really, really well. So that is going to be one of my go-tos. It will be going downstairs with me into my uh, little diamond painting cart that I use downstairs. And when I've got special drills on a painting, I'll be having a go at doing that one. Excellent. Like that. Right, let me just get a bag for those. Right. I need to put all these into here. Otherwise, just say I'm going to uh, end up losing them. Oh, guess it. Look, they're all coming out now and I've only just put them in. <laughs> okay, get into there, you chaps. In you go. But I'll keep the number with it as well. I think I prob well, no, I was going to say I'll probably remember that that's number one. But knowing me, I probably won't. And I'll be sat there scratching my head for five minutes trying to work out why there's no number on these. <laughs> I've got a memory like a goldfish, not a clownfish. <laughs> okay so yeah the pen works the picture's lovely so, and we've got a little bit of it done as well i've got it started now so i'll have to finish it won't i and then finally we've got this lovely little project and yeah i saw this uh, there's a few different ones again in this and they're little stand-up clocks but look at that how sad does he look and it's like oh no and he's like a little like Moomin or a little Kawaii character. Um, and he looks really, really sad. Do you think he thinks it's time to get up and it's an alarm clock? But what I'm thinking of doing is actually making him smile. So he's a smiley bear rather than a little sad bear. Because we don't want little sad bears, do we? But I just thought they were just that little bit different. And as I say, there was two or three different ones. And this is the one that I liked. And the price of him at the moment on the website is $7.99. Which I think is $7.99 for a clock. Uh, as a present for somebody or for yourself. is a really, really good price. So it says it's a toy. So I suppose you could give it to a child to make if they wanted to. But, you know, obviously supervision needed depending on your child. You'll know your child. Um, as to what you want them to do uh, and then we've got all the instructions there that's a happy little owl isn't it there <laughs> we've got all our gems there. five different colors in your gems there looks like a mixture of crystals normal acrylic drills pen butt and wax to do your project and this is a little acrylic clock the actual pattern is on the top of the perspex rather than on the bottom so that's always good because you don't end up with a skewed perspective as it were when you're doing it the top cover sheet just peels back up to reveal all your sticky and it's a nice clear edge so that it does just look like uh, the little animal and the little box or bag that is in there so yeah pop that back down keep that nice and covered over so we don't get any fluff on it uh i'm not sure i think yeah this has got a coating on the back as well so you can peel that off as well i'll need to get a pair of tweezers to get that peeled okay and then we have our clock mechanism so let's have a look at this Ooh. right let me grab a bigger tray to put all the bits in don't want to be losing any screws or little fixings like it's your standard little clock mechanism just takes one double a battery okay and once you've got all your diamond painting done that will just slot through there you've got all your washers um, and your little rings and little bolts and everything to fasten it uh, you've got a little second hand as well which is in gold there and your two little black hands there as well so that will all fix together once i've done this i will do uh, a making up the clock as well afterwards so that you can see how that gets done and then this just looks like it's a little 
stand to go on. So let me have a look. How does this fix then? So does that just go on the back there? And then, yeah, I think that just goes through there. So I won't screw it on at the moment, but you can see there that that will just screw onto there. And then it's a little stand-up clock. Okay. Uh, once it's fixed on properly, it will actually stand up a little bit better than that. It's just, uh, as I say, because I don't want to put it together yet until I've got it all done. But yeah, so you've got your little, oh, very sad bear in a bag. Is it a bag or is it a box? Let me know if you know who this character is. But he just looks so sad. I thought, you're just going to have to come home to me. And uh, you can have cuddles and hot chocolates. And uh, we'll watch television together. And then we'll put a nice smile on your face instead. <laughs> But yeah, nice That's numbers as well for your 3, 6, 9 and 12 there. And uh, your other numbers are quite a, a big a big symbol as well to see. So yeah, I, I just thought that was really good. Let's give him a quick measure because he is a nice size. And uh, yeah, it's nice to do a little clock sometimes. Uh, make good presents. I'm always giving things away, aren't I? I'm always saying that they're good for presents. But I mean, they really are. You know, if somebody... Uh, gives you a little clock it's quite a useful present albeit i know a lot of people don't use clocks anymore because they've got the phones and things but i couldn't do without my clocks on my house i must admit so let's give it a quick measure where did we bury the tape measure there it is look straight in front of me i'm looking underneath everything and it's straight in front of me so we'll go sort of widest point to widest point uh, is about just under 14 centimetres which is about five and a half ish inches and is about 19 centimetres tall which is about seven and a half inches so yeah it's a, a nice little clock there nice little ornament I mean I suppose you could always just cover this little hole over here if you wanted and just stick him on a wall uh, you know, you, you don't have to have him standing up, but he's quite a small one, doesn't take up much room. But yeah, who could resist that little face? Oh, hold his little paw and say, don't worry, you're home now, we'll look after you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the colours, as I say, just uh, five different ones. So we've got a lovely honey gold there. Uh, we've got your standard white. Now, I think he'd look quite nice as a, an AB crystal, don't you? I think we might just have to, uh, yeah, bling him up a little bit and then he'll maybe look a bit happier. And I don't know about the numbers. I think I would probably leave the numbers in your standard white. Or you could even put those glow in the dark. If you've got some of your glow in the dark white, that would be quite good. So you've got your clock on a night uh, and they might just glow at you so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, you could you always add a couple of little glow in the dark uh, gems onto the hands on your clock as well. They're probably about a gem width there. So you could put those on there so you can actually see what time it is because you'll be able to see the numbers and see the hands on the clock as well. There's an idea. I might have to try that one. We've got your standard black for all your edging. We've got a little bit of uh, your palish peach there. Looks like that will go in the middle of the little packet. And then we've got some larger rounds there. So where do they go then? Letter H. Where does H go? all right so they're all dotted about on the bag all right okay so we've got a um a different effect of your two yeah they are the sort of same color um all the bag is actually two different sizes of gems i hadn't realized that oh that's going to be quite effective then as well so yeah but i think he definitely needs to be more than just a flat white color and these are just crying out to be glow in the dark so yeah watch this space i will be doing this one uh not exactly sure of the time frame on it so you will need to keep watching uh if you subscribe you won't miss anything <laughs> quick plug there uh, but yeah i think that's uh, super lovely little clock 
Well, a huge thank you, Diamond Art Gift, for sending me these. Absolutely love them. That pen's great. That will get a lot of use. And I can't wait to get my little clock done. And my little picture will go in my bathroom. So, yay! Thumbs up all round. Love them all. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.